Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to another video. In this video, we're gonna be painting the valve cover for my SR20 DET. So I've never done any painting before, so I've watched some guides online and YouTube videos. Never really been something I've been super keen to do, but I think in this case, it makes sense. So we're just gonna try and tidy up and refresh the valve cover, more so than, um, than put some cool color on it. So we are gonna be painting it black, the original color. Um, trying to essentially just make it look fresh and how it came out of the factory from Nissan. So I have no idea what I'm doing. Could be a total fail today. We'll see how we go. So here it is before paint and before we start. So this is like a before shot. You can just see there's like light scratching on it. Uh, a little bit of paint fade just from age. So normally you strip these all the way back to metal with like paint stripper, but I'm not planning to do that. And that's primarily because I want to save a little bit of money if I can and just was also curious to see how it would go without doing that step. So because we are just painting black and the previous paint isn't in too bad a condition, the plan is we're just gonna sand it up so the paint will adhere to it, hit it with a couple of coats of black, and then I've got a clear coat to go over the top. That's the plan, probably not the best way to do it. Right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is just clean up, uh, try and get all the oil and grease and crap off the valve cover. So I bought some just isopropyl alcohol to clean it. And this is what it looks like after a sand with 240 grit. Uh, I've tried my best just to get in all the little grooves. Some of these are really tiny though. Um, yeah, so now we're gonna clean all that dust off and think about painting it. All right, so it's all ready to paint, but it's pretty damn windy out there. So we're either gonna do it this afternoon or tomorrow. Righto, so it's a new day and it's a little bit less windy. I've just come around this other side of my house where it's a better spot. The paint I ended up using was this one in the low, low gloss black. And now we've done four coats of that. I'm gonna hit it with this clear coat of the same brand. Right, guys, well, it's been a few days because I've been slack, but the paint has fully dried now, so I'll show you. So here it is. I don't think it's like, it's not perfect by any means. Uh, what we've got to do now is I need to shave off the black that's on the, the Nissan letters here and get them back to the chrome. So I'm just gonna tape anywhere that I think uh, I may accidentally scuff with the sanding block. So either side of the letters just to give it some protection. Because this is the highest point, I'm most likely to touch this bit here. So I'm gonna put a few extra um, layers of tape over it. So I'm just going to use a sanding block and some 80 grit sandpaper and uh, try to be very careful. Damn! Looks pretty good. Um, it's come up pretty nice. So as you can see, I've gone with like the flat black and it's just got a little bit of shine to it uh, from the clear coat, but I mean, there's like a little imperfection there and maybe I think there's one there as well. So it's it's not perfect, but it's definitely looks a lot blacker, a lot um, cleaner than it did. So now I'm gonna do the Nissan side. So 
there you have it guys, we are pretty much done. And I just looked back through some photos, I could chuck one up on the screen maybe, but the difference is actually pretty significant. So it was looking really tired before. And while it's not perfect now, I think it's pretty, <laughs> it worked out better than I thought actually. I was very tempted with this job to take it somewhere and just pay someone to do it. Cause by the time you buy all the paints, it actually probably adds up pretty close. I couldn't actually get too many people to give me quotes over the phone, but you know, I think you can get them powder coated for $150 or something. And if you buy all the, the layers of the coat, like if you buy a primer, if you buy a clear coat and a, the color coat, like of high temp paint, it actually adds up to be about 70 or $80, I think. Then like if you have to buy wire brushes, paint stripper, et cetera, et cetera, it all just adds up. So fortunately, while I don't have the best sort of finish, there's some areas maybe where it was a bit light on, I didn't paint enough. It's all right for a home job. It's nothing like the quality uh, you would get from a professional paint job though. So anyway, that's good enough for me. Uh, I think it was worth doing while we were here. I think you'll agree. I've finished cleaning up all the engine bay. So that is all ready to go for the new gaskets. So I think I need a few things, but we might finish this video here. So thanks so much for watching. In the next video, we're just gonna put it all back together, put the rocker cover gasket back on the car and change the spark plugs, etc etc that should be pretty good and then we'll have a working car again because at the moment it's uh it's a big um paperweight so thanks so much for watching guys hope you have a great day and i'll catch you in the next one see ya